Peter Mark came around on Saturday. He is injured, so he can't do the job for us, but he's happy to help us. Gave me a few uh, sort of a direction of how to do this. I'm not a painter or a panel beater, and I do not like it one little bit, so that's, um, that's probably not, a, not the greatest. Now you can learn, no. Yeah, maybe it's because I'm shit at it. So what we've got to do is strip the bay first. That's, that's the start. Um, get rid of all the old paint, however we do that. He said, try paint stripper and see how it reacts. Sometimes you can't use paint stripper because it makes the paint run everywhere or something. I think that was to do with like enamel paint or something? Something or? like that, yeah. So um, we have no idea what it is. It's probably been painted three times already in its life, but um, we'll, we'll try a little section with some paint stripper and see what happens. But most likely a lot of it will be done with a wire wheel on a grinder. Um, that's the way Mark taught me how to do it when we did my crown paint job. I stripped the entire car with a wire wheel. Uh, and the reason for that is it doesn't create heat or scratch the metal, which co causes difficulty to cover up the scratches later. Like you, uh, you don't have to use- like, That's why you don't like painting, because you did it to probably, your Probably, yeah. I got a thing on FB the other day. Eight years? Yeah. God damn. That Hurry up and put that engine in That worked in it. out well. <laughs> Hurry up and put that engine in it that's chilling over there under the cover that no one knows about, apart from Robbie Abbott mm. and maybe three other people. It's a bit of a fatty. Anyway, so, like you. shut up. <laughs> one of the tasks to do, which Alan is going to be doing, is repairing this stuff. This is where the battery used to be. So it looks like it was probably out here and had little bits welded along there. I don't know whether that was damage trying to get it off. It was probably spot welded along there and whoever removed it didn't get the spot welds out well enough and ripped the metal, but we'll just cut this little bit out and just put a bit of plate in there. Put a plate in here to, to um, fill in that brake booster gap. What about those holes just there? These ones? Mm. Oh, wait. Well, this one here is for the intercooler pipe. That one there's for looks. <laughs> um, so we'll tidy up the whole thing. We'll probably have to run in into here a little bit just to maybe black this out. I think Lee did have the plan to paint Just this. to get some paint on all this metal that we've cut out. And yeah, if he does paint the car later, they can always um, come back in over it if, if it doesn't look right. But I don't think you'll be able to see much of that anyway. Mm. Well, most of it will be covered by intercooler. So one, one thing to note that I would like to add is doing, um, doing paint work on body stuff, especially engine bays, it's best to have all the fabrication done and dusted, all the holes are cut out for intercooler piping, firewall grommets, um, stuff like even routing brake lines and wiring, because otherwise we're now going to paint the engine bay and no doubt that we're going to end up cutting a hole for something or drilling a hole for something and then you end up with yeah. bare metal again. So. You don't really want to, yeah, you, you want to try and seal up the engine bay. That's the idea of the paint is to seal up all the cutting and everything that you've done. So um, we think we're there. I think we're going to be doing stuff like welding up these tiny little holes. Yeah, and... so if you, they, they were like a, I don't know, like a wiring loom holder or something. We'll just weld them up. There's stuff here that doesn't need to be there anymore because it doesn't have a throttle cable. Um, I don't know what that is, but it looks like it's been made with a... Oh, that's the brake. No, that right? was the brake, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's been... No, this was the one that was... That was the... That's the throttle. Throttle cable. Well, it probably wasn't a cable in the first place because I think it had mechanical throttle, but that's what it was doing. And it, had, it would have had, like, speedo too, yeah? Yeah, there's, there's some other stuff here. There's nothing in it, but... Um, choke all of them look like they've been cut with a chisel choke from factory oh yeah old school <laughs> <laughs> i was like is this not a lawnmower bro <laughs> it's a kdm uh i don't know what that hack hole is there but that might be a i don't know 
but we'll, we're going to open that up and put the the wiring through there just to utilise an already existing hole. Where's the 240 volt plug going? Um, I can't fit that because I'm not an electrician. Oh, that's right. We'll have to get some chooch named Lee to do that. A few power points. Mm. And what are we doing all this work with, Alan? Because you don't have any freaking tools. I've got lots of tools. It's not tools for stupid paint. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, we'll just go to Super Cheap and get some sanders and shit. Really don't like painting. No. I like it when someone else does it. Yeah, I know, and that's exactly what I said is going to happen. I like it when someone else does it. Yeah, you're going to be standing here looking at me, laughing. Maybe we can get Lee to do something. Yeah. Although he did mess that grill up pretty bad. Yeah, but at least it's his engine bay, so if he it's also, Yeah, it's his grill too, so... Yeah. When it's finished, it'll look like Homer Simpson's car with a 1JZ in it. <laughs> Lee will be loving it. All right, who's driving the Subaru? Jeep? What car are we taking? Take that noisy shitbox Subaru. All right. So obnoxious. You know, my mum always told me to drive 10 kilometres slower when it's raining. Yeah, my mum did. You need to learn how to drive. What? You need to learn how to drive. I did learn how to drive. Mm. About you need to learn five to... years before you were born. You need to learn how to slow down. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what you're getting? Some sanders. Like palm sanders, mm -hmm. Mark said. Mm -hmm. Sandpaper, bog. What else? You know, you're the paint guy. Yeah. What do you tell me? All right. Can I get some one of these while we're here? Really? They're like waterproof cases. Looks like something like... Big one? What do you need a waterproof case for? I just want one for my camera gear. I don't need one, I just want one. Have you got... Have you got the money? And then... Can we get a polish too? I'll use that. I'll use that. Looks like a grinder. Yeah, I think it's got speed on it though. Yeah, yeah, grinder with a speed control seat. No need lower grip than that. No, 2,000 is higher. Actually get a, get a um, 1,000 in between. Yeah, that'll do you. And wire, wire brushes, for sure. Get some of that, um, yeah, we need some. Get some of that plastic with the tape on it already. The drop sheet with the tape. Yeah, that stuff. So we don't have to use birthday wrapping paper. Sweet. Bob? This, this is a bit more of a sensible idea, to be honest. <laughs> you could so do a shout out to Marv right now. Marv for yeah. it. <laughs> What's he do? And the poncho. And the poncho is full of Bob. Yeah. This is how much bog Marv needed for the poncho. <laughs> no, that's, that's how we much were... you removed out of it. That's how much was in there. All of them. I think we'll only need a little bit. You know Mark, uh, Mark hates bog? I know. Because it costs money. <laughs> <laughs> Not that to use it. Hey, you're walking too fast. <laughs> you want to hand it up? Yeah, I do. Thanks, bro. Alan, it's finally your shout, bro. Nope. Yeah. It's your shout for lunch, then. All right. And can we also get a um, Zinger Stacker meal, please? So a Zinger Stacker meal, large regular? Uh, regular, please. And the drink? Uh, Pepsi Max. Today. Yes, thanks. Amazing, Jeremy. Thank you. Lee, Lee's taking a day off from electrocuting apprentices to uh, 
do some work, hopefully. So we're pulling the engine bay as much to bits as can be. Paint stripping, if that works. Uh, sanding, grinding, welding, and then painting. Why'd you point at me for? Because I'm not doing it. Oh. And I'm pretty sure Lee's not doing it. I can't, can't remember the last time I saw someone with fluorescent teal green pants painting cars successfully. Although cardboard is usually used as a template to get the correct shapes, Al decided that a plastic cover off a notepad was better suited for the job. This is precisely cut out and then traced onto some sheet metal. The shear and pan break are then used to form the piece required to be welded in. Today is also malleable, or maybe just piss weak. Rather than using excessive rolls of tape and wrapping paper, this taped masking plastic is the correct way to cover the guards and stop any contaminants hurting the paint. Paint stripper was applied to the inner guards of the car, which helped speed up the process of prepping the engine bay back to bare metal. A combination of wire wheels and abrasive pads are then used in hard to reach places. As it turns out, there was only minor rust on the driver's side in the vicinity of the brake master cylinder. The brown colour beneath the paint was mostly the original primer that was used in the 70s. We spent all day yesterday Stripping the engine bay. It looks pretty stripped, but there's still heaps that isn't. It's a very complicated sort of series of bits of metal welded together, or was spot welded together, or probably half spot welded, knowing a car of this age. Um, but it was better than it was before. So we've now we've got a clean metal. I'm going to put these patches in to cover up this rusty battery tray or ripped open battery tray. These things here are going to get patched in and where the brake booster uh, relief is. So we're going to get stuck into that now. Um, this is probably going to be pretty tedious because you've got to do it with like a million little little welds with very low amperage because of the, this will warp pretty easily. So I've got, I'm going to do that and Woody's going to cool it after each time and we just got to go back and forward and it will be slow and painful. But uh, it's got to be done, so we'll do that. Um, Stolen paper like painting shit. Yeah. Um, 
don't ever complain about someone charging you money for painting something because it isn't an easy job. Or well, panel work specifically, painting is probably the easiest part. It's very slow, tedious, pretty highly skilled really. Um, we don't know what we're doing so we're just banging away at it. If Mark was here he probably would have painted it already because he's been doing it for bloody 40 years, 45 years, something like that, 40 years, a long time. Um, and he would have been doing it if he wasn't injured, but uh, we got sort of a timeline to keep going with, otherwise you won't get to see an episode next week. <laughs> so here we are. But let's weld some patches. The MIG welder's wire speed and voltage have been turned right down in order to weld the thin sheet metal. The air blower is also ran over the welds to cool down the metal to prevent any warpage. I spent a lot of time standing next to this guard explaining what we've done, but probably not as much time as we spent in this engine bay. Don't lean on it too much because you push the car off the hoist. Yeah. That was just, that was you. Yeah, that's you needed <laughs> the advice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a church, I don't need that advice. So we've patched up all our um, holes, uh, some patches in there, they've got to have bog put over them, of course. Um, I didn't weld this in completely because it probably would have distorted the hell out of everything. Um, so we, we're probably a bit over our heads right now as far as that goes. We don't, I'm not a, I've never done any sort of bogging and well, I did when I was like 18 or 16 or 17 but probably wasn't very good. So um, we're going to wait till Mark is available, he's going to come and point and shout. Uh, stitched along here a little bit as well while I had the welder out as you do. Just to got spot welds in it but they're probably not very good. So just added a few little bits and pieces to try and stiffen her up a bit. But for now it's ready for some expert stuff and we're going to go and paint the cross member. So we can start reassembling the front end, ready for it to go back in once this is all painted. Did we show the powder coated arms? No, not yet. Yeah. Did we? Yeah. Remember Lee was pointing at him? Oh yeah. Ah, oh, I can't remember. No, that was thing I... That was squirrels. Oh yeah. Anyway, you'll see him soon. Let's go and... Um, you now we can actually paint stuff with a compressor that's not going to cut out halfway mm. through. Mint new compressor. Mm. Pretty sure I ask you this every time, but do you know what you're doing? Oh, no. Kind oh. of, a little bit. Well, last time you said yes. I'm learning. I'm learning. That's good. I've got one of these funnels now. Isn't it a filter? So that, yeah, they're one of those. What are you doing? I'm going to mix up some paint. I'm going to lay down some runs on that cross member. Runs? Sweet. Yep. Make the runs covered up the poor engineering. Shout out to Dave. Phone's off! Bruh. It's you! Sounded like yours. Woody laid some some paint, a lot of paint down onto the uh, cross member and some other bits and pieces that we wanted to paint that this uh, industrial black yesterday. Um, she's got a few bit of rainfall on it, but that's all good. It's how I roll. The more the better. And then I put it onto a box when it wasn't um, dry and now it's got a bit of box on it as well. So we, we're professionals. Uh, this paint is industrial black. It's designed to be 
put directly onto bare metal uh, rather than using uh, like primers and stuff like that. It's to save time in an industrial um, application, like when you've fabricated something, obviously it comes in different colours as well. So it's a good thing. Um, panel beta Mark is here. We, um, hey Mark. Oh, good day. How are you going? Hi, mate. If you've been with us from day one, you would have seen Mark doing the engine bay on the fair lane. You know, we did a similar sort of thing to that. Yeah. Tidied it all up, patched up all the holes. I think he fixed a bunch of really dodgy repairs on it as well. Um, so we actually, we, want, we were trying to do this ourselves because he's, he's got KDM injuries, um, <laughs> but we got a bit overwhelmed and then Mark was telling us how to do stuff and it was going in one ear and out the other. So. I convinced him to come and help us, or actually do it for us, sort of. So um, we'll do the grunt work and he'll do the, the uh, stuff that needs a brain. So... How are we looking like? Have we done a good job so far? Excellent job. There we go. Yeah. There's no, easy from there. there's no paint where there was paint, so... Well, there's a little bit there. Except for the bit at the front where there's still meant to be paint, and now there isn't any because it all fell off when we blew it with an airline. So the XU ones are painted black to like there anyway, so now we can just make it an XU cool. one. Done deal. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also putting that blame on Lee because he put the tape on that ripped the paint off. Oh, I've got some zoom issues. Sorry, my bad. I wasn't looking at the camera. I was looking at you. You're, you're a very good cameraman. I yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> so Mark's applying some metal tech, which is like a um, sort of a metal based bog bondo if you're in america we call bondo bog i don't know why but that's what we call it so it's the same thing um, this is just bondo is a stupid name for it as well that might i point out it's clearly the, the name of a brand so what we're doing here is um what mark's doing here is um covering up the bits where i've welded some plates in uh that's going to seal it because this is probably potentially a wet area perhaps and that goes inside the car so I've just sort of tacked those those um, patch plates in. This is going to seal it. If you put just bog on it or body filler, it will um, it won't be waterproof because it's basically just plaster of Paris talcum powder. Yeah, it'll seal. Uh, so this will be more waterproof. Then then the bog goes over the top of it. So um, it'd it, be good once the, the hot source scoops on there, so that water yeah. is feeding into it. So that's the drain hole from out of the bonnet scoop into the. The yeah. vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. All right, we're going to get out of Mark's way because he wants us to <laughs> and let him do some work. I'm going to ask him some annoying questions about sandpaper and stuff. Okay. And Mark's going to get reminding you why the crown's not finished yet, even though he painted it eight years ago. Oh. Part, partially his fault. My fault? Yeah, you didn't put the windows back in. <laughs> Word for the day is PPE. Personal. Looks like that postal van in New Zealand. <laughs> How good is it having someone to teach you that knows what they're doing? 
instead of guessing. It's like you with everyone else, Alan. Mm. Just not taster. Mm. Getting pretty late in the Arvo now. We just cracked open a couple of squashes. Mark's just applying some etch primer to the bare metal part of the bay, which is most of it. Um, so we've metal teched over things, then bogged over that, sanded it all down, repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, we've had to tidy up this front bit because all this paint just peeled off. It, it hadn't stuck to the primer properly. And as soon as we cut into this bit here, when we pulled this tape off that Lee had put on, Lee put it on, so it's not our fault, the paint came off with the tape. So we've just had to sand, sort of blend it in a bit, and we'll have to paint this black as well just to, to recover it. Um, the long-term plan is for him to paint the outside of the car again, so that can be rectified um, then if he doesn't like it, but basically it'll just look like a a black nose cone with a black intercooler and everything, so it should be fine. So, our last job for today is the etching. And then what are we gonna do, Mark? Uh, tomorrow we'll two-pack primer. Two-pack primer tomorrow, and then I guess we're gonna do a lot of sanding and stuff. Yep, we'll put some fast hardener in so we can rub it down the same day. And Sweet. And Mark likes paint. to throw things on with so. smoking. <laughs> It's got to be hot so it goes off quick so you can get it done. Yeah. But don't do it at home. He's a professional. And not here to fornicate arachnid. So exactly. One year. I've never ever seen him fornicate an arachnid. He's the fastest worker I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> True. We just messaged Lee and told him that we asked for black, but they gave us woody, woody black, which is a bit more bit more grey than black. Apparently it happens <laughs> happens with age. Let the primer dry, set, whatever it does overnight and now we're rubbing it back to try and reveal any faults, Mark, is that right? That's right. Yeah, cool. Um, so it's all looking pretty good. There's probably a couple of spots that we have to reapply some more primer onto. But we'll let Mark do his thing and figure that out. Yeah. Uh, Woody, we're a bit late because Woody, I don't know what he was doing last night, but he didn't get here early. Mark's probably been awake since two o'clock this morning, <laughs> chomping at the bit to get rubbing. And Woody may have been up at two o'clock in the morning rubbing oh, come on, something dude. else. <laughs> I don't know. How, not, old, not how sure. old do you think I am, man? Come not, on. Not sure. But anyway. Nah, Mark and I just went and got a coffee this morning. Mark gave me some spare KTM bits because... Because you're it. always smashing KTM bits. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. what's the next step, Mark? What are we uh, doing? The next step will be, when I finish this, we'll, we'll wipe it all down again, prep style it and clean it up and then spot prime it where we need to and then we'll um, start mixing the paint up. Yeah, cool. Mm. So... This is not meant to be a show engine bay. We're just trying to seal it up because it was covered in rust and shit before. Um, Hang on, didn't Lee say he's taking it to summer nuts though? Yeah. yeah only just to be a bogan probably. Oh. Take um, no, actually I think he said he doesn't want to go to summer nuts. It's, yeah. He wants to go to Motor X maybe. Because he'll get yelled at for not doing a, a burnout with his blower out of his bonnet. This would suit at Motor X. This would be a sweet car for Motor X. Except for the outside paint. Well, it'd be good for auto selling the interior. Yeah, that'll that's the Motor X spec. Mm -hmm. Hasn't Broads also got white interior? We should park maybe next to him. Maybe it's a Tirana thing. Yeah. Mm. You got any more plastic? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're heaps. All right. Yeah, we'll have to replastic it too. All right. We should get to work, Alan. How many black boogers have you got in your nose last night? They're probably still there. Yeah. They're in, <laughs> they're in my lungs now. Yeah. I got the black lung, pa. <laughs> Alan, you know how you give me shit about my paint runs? I give you shit about everything, bro. Doesn't mean anything, you know that. You wouldn't be here if I didn't can, like you. Can I give you shit about this crap tape job you've done here? 
Because you can't blame that one on me. I just said that you can give me shit about it. I'm not a painter. I'm not a masking taper or a painter or any of those things. This stuff's so good, eh? It's a good little cut-off thing. Yeah, it's got like, just like a... Um, like a glad wrap yeah. cutter. And then you fold it down and it's just good, mate. It's a good. It's a good! What's going on, Woody? Well, I need to turn my phone on silent because you're messaging someone and I'm getting notifications. And someone's... Joey P's asking the car questions. So what's this special stick for, Mark? What's this? Oh, if you don't have mixing bowls, you can all the measurements for mixing oh, the paint. Oh, yes, yes. Stick. Cool. Yeah. But the bowls are so much easier. Science. <laughs> yeah, whack it in. That's what she said, Woody. That's saying, whack it in. Mm. Can you see audio levels on that camera? Is your mic good? Is my mic good? Yeah. Well, you speak really quiet. My man. mic sounds nice. Does my mic sound nice? Yeah. So can we throw this in there, Mark? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Mark. Yeah. Teach me. Yeah? Under here. Start off underneath there. Alright. And across the back there, up low. Yep. Alright. Don't go over it. Remember, it's really runny. Okay. So, so put a coat on and then like, go down there, around there, and back over this way. Yeah. Don't so go back over. Ah. Okay, audio. Right Oops, went back over. <laughs> you missed the spot. Yeah, right. Are you happy? Yeah, it seems the less pressure, less air pressure. Yeah, yeah. Put a bit less paint on for your first coat. Remember I said you dust the first coat on? Uh, okay then. Yeah. Yep. I'd, I'd go across the back there. Yeah. You can get closer. Mark told me I was doing it wrong, so now he's taking over. I think last time I did this, there was lots of comments about how much pressure I was using in the gun and I think that's a big difference now is to one, the compressor we were using was shit Mark's got a good compressor, he's also got a dryer so compressor kicks in so it's taking out all the moisture from it I probably sound like a goose right now so what? Apologies for the audio. The speaker says what? What? How are we travelling, Mark? Yeah, got, yeah. You jump back right, mate. Alright, I'll get in there. Yeah. But just tidy up what you did, that's all. Thank you. How good is it having a professional here? <laughs> you have to swap hands. Do the lefty. Late night left handed. <laughs> Engine bay is painted and pretty stoked with the outcome. Huge 
thanks to Panel B and Mark for coming over. Um, without your help, we definitely, A, wouldn't have gotten this far, Alan, do you think? We would have probably got that far, but it would have looked like shit. <laughs> well, we wouldn't have had it done in, in a few days rather than... One day. Yeah, there you go, one day. Two days. Half a day yesterday, half a day today. Okay, one day. Yeah. Um, just a bit of a disclaimer, Mark is a panel beater, not a spray painter. He's been doing this for, well, what was the outcome? 38 years? Yeah, 39. 39 years, yeah. and he doesn't have a business, so you can't call him. Um, <laughs> But yeah, engine's going to go back in next week. The cross ember's painted. Lee's got the suspension arms and everything powder coated. So new bushes, cross member in, engine back in. Maybe paint some more stuff next week. I don't know. We're probably seeing enough painting now, so I'll just do that off camera. I've uh, had enough painting for yeah, a my, long I'm time. I've been in like the two, pack. two pack. Yeah. Welcome to my world. Yeah, no thanks. Worst job ever. Mm. But thank you for coming along for the journey of painting we actually weren't going to film it i didn't want to film it i just thought bugger it we'll just get it done but i didn't want to do it at all i just wanted mark to do it <laughs> yeah and go pink yeah like one of those things where you click, click your click fingers, your fingers <laughs> start. um so yeah thanks for watching we'll see you guys next week engine goes back in and then how many more episodes you got left alan yeah 23. all right and then the 24th episode we'll do it get it running and do a skid so yeah. see you next time cheers I don't want anyone to see that we're fat asses, eh? <laughs> Bloody KF. <laughs>